Okay. All righty. Let's go. What do we got? What's happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, that bass sounds amazing. Is that uh, five? Well, I'd say this sounds like disco, but that bass is pure fun. Voice sounds great. That is quite a head, head piece he's got going there. I what it's called. That sounds excellent. Keyboard sound great.
This sounds really good. Tight, very tight, very tight. Very cool, very killing. Jim Requi is all about the bass. Yep. That's for sure. Bass and the didgeridoo. I think he was no longer part of the experience at that point. He was didgeridone. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, yeah, excellent, excellent. Just uh, uh oh. Just lose that disco beat. The drums are too disco. Oh, okay. I mean, I know that's what kind of song it is, but you could play it a little more funky, in my opinion. I mean, you've heard it before. No, I know it's cool. It's cool, but that disco groove kind of is a little. Hello. The disco groove is a little square for me. Okay, well, someone thought you'd appreciate this particular version. Well, I dig the bass. The bass playing was killing. Good. And it, the whole thing sounded great. You seem yeah. to like Jamiroquai when they were mostly funky. And I guess yes. at some point they kind of crossed the line and became a little bit more disco-y. Yes. But I have a feeling that that's probably JK's doing. Well, undo that. Can we just go back 26 years and keep the original lineup? I mean, is it that that disco-y? Pretty disco-y. Okay. Well, so, like I said, someone suggested this because they thought you would enjoy this version. I guess because it's I, Jules Holland and it's a... Uh... I did enjoy it. It's very good. Okay. It is good. All right. It's just... That's the only thing that keeps me from fully enjoying it okay. is the... You like it, but you would love it if it was less disco-y. Yes. All right. Well, let's leave it at that then. More funk, less disco. Okay. Because honestly, funk is like the hippest music there is. And disco is like the squarest music there is. Okay. So it's just like you're, you're taking the funk and you're watering it down. I see. It's cool. It's just my personal opinion, my personal preference. Seems to be pretty adamant about it. Can't help it. It's just, you know, I come from a time when there was a phrase going around. Are you alluding to disco That sex? phrase was, yes. <laughs> and it was ingrained in my head. So I have trouble... I have trouble with that. I mean, it was a t-shirt. It was... Uh, it was a way of life, baby. It was everyone. So, whether it really sucks or not, I don't know. But I've been brainwashed to believe it does. You know, any, any kid who was into rock and roll in the 70s pretty much believed that disco sucked. Okay. So, I, like I said, I just... I have a problem. That's fine, Dave. I got a fever. And the only cure is less disco. Oh, okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. The bass playing was killer, though. Good. Nick Fife, kicking it. Thank you very much.